word with Luther for September 23rd. I'm going to read to you today from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 22, verses 34 through 39 in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. But when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they came together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is the word of God. Luther writes about that great commandment saying, Consider it an established fact that reason can never understand and fulfill the law even though it knows the meaning of the law. Human nature alone will never be able to accomplish what God requires in this commandment, namely, that we surrender our will to the will of God, so that we renounce our reason, our will, our might and power, and say from the heart, Thy will be done. You will nowhere find a person who loves God with his whole heart and his neighbor as himself. It may indeed happen that two companions live together in a very friendly manner, but even there hypocrisy is hidden which continues until you are offended by him. Then you will see how you love him, and whether you are flesh or spirit. But this commandment requires me to be friendly with all my heart to him who has offended me. Take to yourself this commandment. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and think upon it. How far you are from fulfilling it, that you have not yet made a beginning to suffer and to do from the heart what God demands of you. When God does our pleasure, then we can easily say, How I do love God, He is my Father. How gracious He is to me. But when He sends misfortune and adversity, we no longer regard Him as our God, nor as our Father. True love to God does not act in this way, but thinks in the heart and says with the lips, Lord God, I am thy creature. Do with me as thou wilt. If thou desirest, I will suffer any misfortune or die this very hour. I will cheerfully do so, but you will never find a person who will always regulate himself according to this commandment. Therefore, there is no human being who is not condemned, for no one has kept this commandment, and God requires everyone to keep it. We stand in the midst of fear and distress, unable to help ourselves. Our human nature is unable to keep the law which wants the heart, and unless done from the heart, it avails nothing before God. This is never done, except man is born anew through the Holy Spirit. When you realize this, the law has accomplished its work. It's funny, even in reading Luther's comments, I find myself uh, breaking the commandment. Um, I just can't help myself, and that's the point of all of it. <clears throat> reading along, and I'm thinking, well, you know, there's a lot of people that have offended me, uh, even recently. And I can still be uh, nice to them and uh, forgive them whether they want forgiveness or not. Um, whether I want to forgive them or not. And see, there's the rub. <laughs> whether I want to or not. Whether I, I, I. It's, it's, it always comes down to me. That's what Luther's talking about here. We can't uh, keep this commandment. Every time we start to keep it, we think, huh, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I. I'm doing pretty good. It's not about God's will anymore. Now it's about my will. We just can't keep this commandment. We can certainly keep trying, but even for that, we get no credit. <laughs> it doesn't merit us a thing. Uh, now, it's what we're supposed to do. It just doesn't add up to any virtue with God. The only virtue that we have with God is Jesus. Christ Jesus is the only merit that we have when we stand before God. We have none of our own. It's all about Him. And even this is His will that He will do in us. We can't do it in ourselves. So, <clears throat> the point of all of this is that the law drives us kind of crazy. Uh, the law keeps saying, uh, uh, keep going, keep going, keep going, you loser. <laughs> We just, we can't, uh, we can't win. Um, and when we realize that, when we realize that we don't love God with our whole heart, we don't love God 
with our whole mind. We don't love him with our whole soul, with all of our strength. We don't. When we realize that we don't, when we stop being religious long enough to admit it, to confess it, then the law has done its job in us. Then the law has driven us away from law keeping as a virtue, law keeping as religion, law keeping as our righteousness. The law then has been successful in driving us away from all of that nonsense and driving us to Christ, who is our only righteousness. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for what you did for us. Help us to believe. Help us in our unbelief. Help us in our religiousness. Help us in our self-righteousness. Help us as you have done. And for that, we give you thanks in your name, the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for reading the word with Luther. Please be back with me again tomorrow. Music